Alright, hey guys, it's me Beaner. Here we are back to Ratchet and Clank. Today we're in Battalia. We're going to be going here and do whatever we can in the meantime to try and, you know, there's some simple skill points you can get in here. There are some things you can do. I was hoping I could get a weapon, but as you can tell, we need 10,000 bolts for that. And, uh, well, I don't have that much. So I guess I'll have to get that later in a few seconds. Or by the end of this video, hopefully I'll actually be able to get enough bolts. Because there's something I want to do, do some little backtracking once I get that weapon. But before we go anywhere, let's go on this grind rail. Now, there's the little whole path you can take on here, and there's a skill point for not getting hit once. So, uh, that'll be fun. But let's see how well I do. And see if I actually get that skill point. Probably not for, uh, at least like three, five attempts. But yeah, now it feels like we're playing Final Destination. Uh, that, that was, uh... Was that, the, was that the final level on, in Sonic from Sonic Adventure 2? I don't even, I think it was Final Destination. No, Final Destination is a Smash Mother stage. Final Trial, maybe? I don't know, whatever. But without getting hit, psh, no problem. I've, ah, uh, flip. I'm just gonna let myself die. All right. I've done Donkey Kong Country Returns, and I, if I did enough minecart levels on that without getting hit, psh, this would be no problem. Do this. I could do this. This ain't no this ain't scare me. So I, it's just that one part that always annoys the crap out of me, because the camera angles are just so weird. Like, you can't really see anything until it's, like, too late, and it's kind of annoying. I really think they could have thought out this whole section a bit better, but that's just me. There we go. But it's not over yet. Nope, we still have some crap to go. Alright, come on. Perfect. Nice. Not over yet, though. We still have a bit more to go. Alright, come on. I'm not even going to bother with that section over there. Here it's gonna be go, go a bit slower, so it's kind of uh, annoying. They have to jump across this side, jump on this side. Yep, come on, I got this. I got this. Sweet. Perfect. Halt! Who are you? What are you doing? We are on a mission to save the galaxy. Speak for yourself and put your hands down. You look ridiculous. Actually, I don't care who you are. I've got to get the heck out of here. I joined the army to get money to go to college. I never knew I'd end up in a war. Go figure. This is a noble cause, sir. Noble my Heine. I just want to get home to my family. Here, I pulled this off a busted robot. Give me some bolts for bus fare and it's yours. 2,000 bolts for bus fare? Wow, that's terrible. Can say that one guy got like six bolts an hour, you know, being a bodyguard. Thanks a bunch. Good luck saving the galaxy or whatever. Greetings, Supreme Executive Chairman Drek. As you can see, we're about to test our newest automated pilot's helmet. This helmet allows pilots to control our latest high-tech fighters using only their thoughts. Please enjoy the demonstration. We still have a, a few minor adjustments to make. Oh, if they ever get the kinks worked out of that thing, I have got to get me one of those. If they are working for Chairman Drek, they may know where he is. Is that all you can think about? Drek this, Drek that? I got my own problems. If you cannot see the importance of this situation, you do have problems. Yeah? Well, if you're so smart, how come you fell for Quark's stupid trick? Ah, forget it. We both need to get to this planet, and that's all that matters. Alright. Well, anyway, we can return to our ship now. That was, uh, that was relatively quick. But we still don't have 10,000 bolts, so I guess we're still continuing on here without doing any backtracking so far. And these things are kind of annoying, but they turn red, you want to pretty much hit them just immediately, because they can shock you with their electricity. Bit of a problem. Oh boy, jump rope moving guys. All right. Oh, all right. Thanks. Th that that worked. 
That worked quite nice somehow. And he blew up the bridge. Alright, that's fine. That's cool. But, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Let's actually jump up here while we can. And get some bolts and get some more boxes. Why not? Wait. Oh yeah, I had to pay 2,000 bolts to that one guy. Crap, I'm still not gonna have enough for a while. Alright, well. That's my own fault. We have to do some backtracking here. Oh, can I, can I make that? Let's see here. I know it's not how you're supposed to get it, but... Nope, you can't. Pretty much you have to actually wall kick here. And that's how you get the gold bolt that way. But, then we can actually go in here, get our little trespasser while we're at it. Let's see, which one is it? This is the one. Uh, let's see if I remember how to do this. Uh, let's see here. These ones are going to... Actually, it's these ones are going to aim this way. I think they hit both of them. This one here is kind of hit this switch here. And these in the middle can just uh, do something else, maybe. Uh, 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 let's see. Do that, then oh this one actually no that'll block it. Let's put that out of the way. And then you could try to hit this. There we go. Yeah, some of these I have no idea how to do. I even have to a practice run, but so pardon me if I struggle for a bit trying to figure it out. But uh thought process, you know, whatever. Oh, ammo there we can't really use. We definitely got a lot of bolts. Wow, look at that. We're already at 9,300. Wow. What am I complaining about? Guess we're going to be good for a while. Alright. All ah, shoot. Almost fell off the bridge there. Or lack thereof of a bridge. Whatever. And now there's another guy that's going to be hiding here. He's going to throw a bomb and then try to get away. I don't think so. Get the crap out of me. Now there's another, there are two other skill points in this level, but I can't do either one of them yet. I have to wait till later when I get the magnetic boots. Spoilers. I know I, that's, that's probably the only weapon I've actually spoiled for anyone it, so far. It's entire let's play the magnetic boots, but I, I really don't think it's that big of a deal. Really, pretty cool, but still. Any stuff in here? No, nothing. All right, fine. That's 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 cool too. I'll just go down this way. In fact, I have no choice. I have to go down this way. It's not like I really have another plan I can do. I hate these people that freaking hide. It's always annoying. You die. And you could also die. And I'll create these boxes while we're at it. Sweet, we have 10,000 now. Sweet, so I can do some backtracking after I'm done with this stage. In the meantime, we'll make sure we kill off this guy first. There we go. Now it's not going to be a threat anymore. Let's just make this bridge and make this go all the way across here. We. Alright. So with that, we can jump up this. Jump up here. Can, can, I, can I jump here? Is it going to let me grab? I said, is it going to let me grab? There we go. Yeah, that, that definitely saved a lot of time trying to do that and everything. That saved so much time. Now, there's actually an achievement you could get for actually defeating all of the tanks in this level with just the sand mounts. Or the sand mites, whatever. But either way, there are three tanks, you can all, but there are only two we can access so far. We access the third later. But, in the meantime, let's just go ahead and do everything else we can. Like, let's go up here. I don't know who's calling me. It's really annoying. Let me guess. Oh, what a surprise. Yep. Yeah, I'm not answering that for a while. Anyway, pretty much just going to finish this up here. And, oh, I actually managed to jump up there just fine. Okay, that's cool. And right over here on this side is a gold bolt. One of the less hidden ones, in my personal opinion, because it's kind of easy to see this one. Kind of hard to miss, honestly. Fact, fun fact, I thought this was the actual proper way to go when I first played the game. I'm like, wait, I think this is where I'm supposed to go, because I missed the actual proper way, so I went here instead. But, regardless, the real way we want to go is actually over, whoops, ah, dang it, I have to go 
come all the way back around again. Okay, we're back here again on the bridge. Now, if you turn left on the bridge instead of going forward or going to the right, like it seems like you would have to, you actually go over here and fall in the water. Ah, dang it. Stop. I swear, if you kill me off. Uh, maybe I should go back to try and actually heal something. I don't feel like doing this entire freaking level over again. That's always a pain. Hmm. Should I go back for health? Should I? Is there any health over here? On these boxes I destroyed earlier. Eh, it doesn't look like it. Dang it. Alright, well. That bomb. Oh yeah, these guys. I swear you need to All right. All right, they're destroyed now. Hooray! All right, thankfully I destroyed all of them. Now I don't have to worry about those popping up anywhere and throwing a bomb at me. Thought I was gonna die for sure. I only had like one health left. By the way, there are two sections to this bridge. Let's bring up the first one here. Then we can go over here and bring up the second one. And voila! Now we can go back around and actually fed the bridge and actually meet the commando. Isn't that nice? And these bolts right here to tell you it's the right way in case you were unsure or something. There he is. Blast that thing, it won't budge. I've tried everything I know short of nuclear weaponry. Hmm. No, never mind. Well, you tried. See ya. Not so fast, soldier. You're going into that compound even if I have to throw you. Aha. That ventilation shaft leads to the turret platform. Soldier, find a way to use that shaft to infiltrate the compound undetected. Hmm. You've shown bravery by making it this far, soldier. And for that, I reward you. I intercepted this communique that you might find useful. Take it. I'm off to find my battalion. Good luck. Hello once again, fellow blog. I hope this message finds you well. As many of you know, our home planet is no longer habitable. We've abandoned our factories, our laboratories, and our happy lives because of the encroaching pollution, leaving much behind. Fortunately, the nearby planets will supply us with all we need to create our new home, which is nearing completion. Once our scientists locate the ideal orbit, our new world will be perfect. So reserve your space now. Prime locations are filling up fast. Good day. Now do you understand why we must stop him? He won't rest until he has destroyed every planet in the galaxy. Yeah? Well, I got bigger fish to fry. Bigger than the galaxy? Well, different fish anyway. Look, didn't that commando guy say we could get into that compound? Yes, by using the ventilation shaft. But we will need something special to walk on that. Fine. Let's get going then. We'll come back later. Alright, so we can't do anything now because there are those platforms again we can't actually walk across because, spoilers, once again we don't have the actual magnetic boots. Spoilers, that it's actually an item. But let's actually head back to our ship and uh, we could actually buy some ammo and it looks like Ratchet's about to die, literally, because uh, it's in pretty bad shape, actually. Probably just try killing myself so I actually have full health again before I actually leave. I think the health actually carries over from place to place, oddly enough. Either way, let's activate the Scavgeton here and buy the Hi Devastator. There, this is a beast of a weapon. Probably the one you're going to be using most often for bigger, bigger enemies. Let's just kill ourselves real quick. Geronimo! And now back to full health again. Nice. 
But instead of going to our main target, we're actually going to be going all the way back to Novalis. Because there's a skill point we could get in here. What skill point can we get? Well, we're going to find out shortly. That's all this loading stuff anyway. Alright, so the skill point requires you to- whoops. The skill point requires you to actually kill off one of these fighter jets that fly with anything. Devastator is definitely the recommended choice. You can just get a lock on on any one of them. Ah, uh, dang it. Too late. I'm gonna lose ammo by the time I finish this mission. Yeah, let's try uh, doing it over on this side. There we go. I didn't see it explode, but it still followed it for a skill point. So there you go. So yeah, destroying one of those very kind of hard to do with any other weapon besides the Devastator. So now, this is not the only one we could actually get. Let's actually head over next to Outpost Iridia. It's a cool looking gem, may I say. It's pretty pretty cool ship we have now. Very nice. Alright, so now this mission is actually a lot easier. You just have to actually shoot three of these cargo ships. And, well, they move very slowly, so it's very. Okay, I guess since I already earned the skill point for destroying three of them in another file, it pretty much gave me the skill point for defeating one. But pretty much, you have to defeat three of them in order to actually get the skill point the first time. So there's that. Now, there's one last skill point we could actually get right now. So let's actually head over there. Now there are technically two more skill points in this X area I'm going to, but we could only really access one currently, because the other one is actually going to be a lot harder to get, and I think it's pretty much impossible with the Devastator or any other weapon. But we'll get there later. Alright, so here we are back in Kurwan. Now, I told you about that one little uh, statue we could actually destroy, but we didn't have enough weapon to actually do it recently. So, this guy here, the Quark Bot or whatever, we can just aim at, and even though it doesn't lock on, you can fire, and it destroys him. You get a skill point for it. Now, in terms of the other skill point for this level, you'll notice a blimp. Well, let's take a look around here real quick. Let's see. If I go here, where's the blimp? Looking for a blimp. Here, blimp, 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 blimp. Seriously, where is it? Is it not here? I, d I don't see it. Aha! Now, if you notice... Oh! I guess I was able to get it. Normally, it doesn't even let me lock onto that thing because it's so high up. Okay. Well, I guess I never come back here again. Cool, you got both skill points. I, I was wrong. Alright, so that's cool. So yeah, that pretty much sums it up for this episode here. We actually went ahead and went to Battalia. You know, we got the, uh, we got two info bots to go to next. We got three skill points. You can get extra that we had to go back for. So our next, our next area here is going to be Gaspar. Blarg Depot Gaspar. So, let's actually fly here and see what awaits us in the next episode. Oh, looks like magma. Lots, lots of magma. So here we are in Gaspar. As you can tell, it's definitely a real lava world here. Lots of fire, places that could hit us. But yeah, we'll be tackling that next time. So next time in Ratchet and Clay, we'll be heading to Gaspar. Well, heading further into Gaspar. And actually doing stuff there. So, I will see you guys then.